Activity 25, we're going to listen to a song. And the song is called, My Mommy Comes Back. My Mommy Comes Back. Can you see the picture of the little toddler on page 148? Does he look happy? No. 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 How does he look? Is he crying? Yes. Or is he smiling? I think he's crying. Okay, why do you think he's crying? Why does he want to have his hands out in front of him like that? Okay, so he looks like he's crying because he's anxious about his mommy leaving him. So when children are very young, they sometimes become anxious and upset when their mother or father leaves. For example, to go to work or to go on an errand. You know, go to work, right? What does it mean to go on an errand? Do you know that meaning? Go yeah. on an errand. That means you go to do something necessary. Maybe you have to go to the post office. You have to go to the grocery store. You have to go to the laundromat. You have to go pick up something at a friend's house. Something that doesn't take a long time, a small task but it's not work. Nobody pays you to do that. That's to run an errand or to go on an errand. So sometimes the mommy or daddy takes the child and leaves the child at the auntie's house or leaves the child at home with a babysitter and the child <laughs> starts crying. Have you experienced this before? Yes. Yes, okay. This is called separation anxiety. Let me hear you say separation. 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 Separation has four syllables. Where's the stress? Separation. Third syllable. So four dash three. Four syllables stress the third syllable. Separation. How about the next word? Anxiety. Anxiety. How many syllables do you hear? Oh. Anxiety. Four syllables. Where's the stress? Four syllables. Stress the second. Anxiety. Anxiety is the noun. And in the same family, we have the adjective anxious. Anxious. You see that in the first sentence. Sometimes children become anxious and upset. Those are adjectives. Anxious. Anxious has two syllables. Where's the stress? First one. Right. Okay, watch me. Watch me, please, and follow me. Can you see me? Anxious. 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 Upset. 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 Anxious. Anxious. Now the word anxious is an adjective. When you use it as a noun, notice how the syllable stress changes. We have more syllables, four of them, and we have to stress the second one like this. Anxiety. Anxiety. So we have a name for it. We call it separation, separation. anxiety. Okay, you'll remember when a baby is born, the baby has just spent nine months together with mommy for a long time. And so baby wants to stay close to mommy the whole time. After a while, maybe one year, two years, then the baby grows older, baby's a toddler now, and starts to learn to go away and come back, and go away and come back. Learn to meet some other people and then come back, and go away and come back. But this period of time can last for a while, and not all children have the same experience. Some children at two years old feel very confident and friendly with other people besides mommy and daddy. Some children still feel fearful. They get anxious and they feel separation anxiety. So do you know separate means to go apart, right? So if the baby is separate from the mom or dad, that's action is called separation. 
Anxiety is the feeling when the, when the child feels anxious and upset. So we call this, what do we call it? Separation anxiety. Let's say that again. Separation anxiety. And does it happen at the same age? Not exactly. It happens at different ages, but it's especially common in toddlers. Do you remember a time when any children you know had separation anxiety? Some of you talk about it now. Your child is two years old and she has that anxiety, right? Even around her aunts and uncles and grandma and people who love her very much, she still feels, oh, Mommy, it's going away. Okay, I'll tell you about my kids and my nephew and niece. Each child is different. You can't see everybody's the same. So my children were, were easy, you know, they were very easy going. They could go to other people, their aunts and uncles and friends of ours. But my, ne my niece, she had separation anxiety for a long time, even past the time that she was a toddler. When she was a preschool kid, and she went to a preschool, three or four years old, she had a great deal of separation anxiety. She didn't want to talk to anybody. She didn't trust anybody. She couldn't, she couldn't bear it. It was very difficult for her. So not every child has the same uh, feelings, and not every child outgrows the separation anxiety at the same time. Now, sometimes you have to say goodbye to your child, and you need to leave your child there, and you may watch your child cry. Now, do you like to watch your child cry? No. no, nobody likes to see their babies crying, and you think, oh, it's so hard for me. You know, you take your baby to the babysitter or to the child care, and then you think, oh, oh, the baby's crying, it makes me feel bad. Oh, no, you just need to. Say goodbye. Say, Mommy will come back. Mommy will be back later on. Now you can play with Auntie so-and-so or Uncle so-and-so or Grandma. And I'll come back for you later on. So this song is called My Mommy Comes Back. So it's nice to play the song with the toddlers so they can understand the meaning and they understand the feeling. And of course, we enjoy the song together. All right, now, sometimes when we say goodbye to our toddler, before that, we do something that's interesting or fun, something that's enjoyable before they do something. Maybe you like that your child likes to draw pictures, and you can have your child draw some pictures before uh, you need to say goodbye to them. And that means they're doing something active. So you bring them to the babysitter or to the daycare, they start drawing pictures, and then you know they're doing something they enjoy, and you can say goodbye to them at that time. So that's just an example. In this activity, one thing you needed to do was to make a prediction. And it asks you to cover the lyrics. Lyrics means the words to a song. Now, I don't know if you did this or not, but this is how you're supposed to do it. You hover up the words. I know a lot of you like to look at the words, and you don't trust your ears to hear, but here's a chance to relax and listen to the song and try to understand as much as possible. So. When we make a prediction, we make a guess, right? We guess about which line of the song goes together with the next line. And on the left side, we see, sometimes my mommy takes me over, and we have to join it with something else. And we see, sometimes my mommy takes me over to another friend's house to play. Do you understand that? Yeah. Sometimes my mommy takes me over to another friend's house. What for? What reason? To play. To play is an infinitive, and it's an infinitive of purpose. It tells the purpose. Why did we go to another friend's house? Okay, now then we have the next line. Sometimes 
I only stay a little while. Sometimes I stay a little while. Sometimes I stay all day. Yes. Okay, so that shows that the length of time can vary. It can be different from a short time to a long time. A little while is a short time. All day is a long time. Sometimes I worry when she leaves me. I hope she won't be gone too long. When I'm with my friends and having fun, I soon forget she's gone. Sometimes I visit with my grandma. When, while my mommy goes somewhere, we bake some cookies and we read a book and rock in the rocking chair. Okay. Would you like to listen to the song and then sing it together? All right, let me play the song for you.